The other big story today, NASA is delaying the last launch of the space shuttle Endeavor. The six astronauts said wave goodbye, got on their van, going to go to the launch pad when officials called it off. They're looking into a technical problem. We have team coverage tonight. News Channel 5's Carolyn Schofield is at Port Canaveral, where scores of shuttle fans were more than a little disappointed. We begin with Jay Kashmir at the Kennedy Space Center with more on why today's launch was scrubbed. Jay? Kelly, Jim, NASA scrubbed this launch about three hours prior to its scheduled launch time at 347 because of a faulty heater in a fuel line. The crew was actually on their way to the launch pad, launch pad 39A behind me. When they got the word, they quickly turned around. Soon thereafter, President Obama arrived here at Cape Canaveral. He and the first family toured the facility, met with the crew, and met with Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. Now, as we speak, the crew is in quarantine with their families, and NASA is getting to, to the bottom to try Try and fix this faulty fuel line. So the course of action today is, is to scrub. Shuttle Endeavor's 25th and final mission still awaits. NASA delaying the 14-day trip to the International Space Station to fix a faulty fuel line. The issues with one of our auxiliary power units. Frankly, this was a this was a pretty straightforward scrub uh, declaration today. You don't like lifting off without redundancy, especially in a critical in a critical system like that. Media from across the world converged in a packed media center listening for any update. While technical issues plagued the launch, another problem loomed. So we're really concerned that if those winds continued at the, at the current speeds, about 23, 24 knots, and shift a little bit, they'd actually violate one of our launch constraints. The mission will carry six astronauts and a storied legacy into space. Endeavor, which lifted off from the Cape for the first time in May of 92, will retire after this flight. And no one knows its history better than astronaut Nick Patrick, who flew Endeavor last year. Endeavour served us fantastically well for that mission. I know she'll uh, do beautifully this time when she finally gets into the sky. Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, who took a major step in her recovery from January's tragedy in Tucson, was at a private location at Kennedy Space Center with a nurse, her mother, and staffers hoping to watch her husband Mark Kelly lead the mission. Not soon after the scrub, security tightened as President Obama and the first family arrived and flew around the facility for a tour. A monumental day set in motion to be continued. As we're always saying in this business, we will not fly this machine until it's ready, and today it was not ready to go. Better safe than sorry. That's the word from the Cape here tonight. NASA hoping to launch Shuttle Endeavor on Monday, Monday afternoon. That's the word coming from a press conference that was just on uh, NASA radio here.